Hey, Matt. Mate, how are you? Very good, yourself? Very good, buddy. Cool. We're finally finished. I'm very excited. Yeah, you, it is very different from what you had before. PCS yeah. did a great job. Uh, you've got the you've got the prototype of the fit out that Andrew St. Pierre White is gonna get. He's a very he good was, setup, isn't he? He had a good look at that and he was like, yeah, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's now finished off, isn't it? It looks yeah. amazing. No, it's cool. Very different from before. So what you get is uh, we've put the manager 30 in there, we've put your two 200 amp hour red arc batteries under the fridge compartment there. Yeah. And you've got, uh, I call that your user interface there. So you got the red vision monitor without the red vision system. Mm -hmm. It's just so you can see what's going on. At the moment, we're still charging, so your batteries aren't 100% full. Yeah. That's why you can't see a percentage reading yet. We used one of our switch panels for a water pump compressor is underneath here so you can just plug in directly there to inflate your tires and plug in your water outlet there you know when you're cooking so, want to have a shower or something so like that neat and tidy isn't it yeah well, that's what epic. we try to do <laughs> very good and uh obviously we put the national lights in uh, the gull wings aren't here yet the wiring and the light everything's there so you can have white and orange light there another white and orange light there and we always do these on the troopies as well a little custom bracket yeah and you can have light in the back here and then also vlog on that one. yeah you will use this thing yeah, a lot I I and you'd be surprised how bright that is the white is actually you'll easily get 10 meters yeah out of that yeah, yeah when it's pitch bright. black around you a little bit of light does a lot looks like it uh i'll jump in from the passenger side i'll show you what we've done on that side there your 2000 watt red arc inverters underneath there so you can plug in all your equipment and then use that area there as a charging station. You've also got multiple USB and accessory outlets there. Yeah, that's gonna come in handy, incredible, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, so whatever you've got now, if you wanna charge it, if you just put a little bit of Velcro to it, cause you do some proper off-road driving as well, otherwise everything would just go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of Velcro and you can just stick it on there and it will just stay there. That works really well. Yeah. Uh, we've also used an Egan DC hub for you. Mm -hmm. That is where all the connections come together. So your manager, your fridge, all your charge ports, all the lights, everything runs together in this one spot. All the fuses are here. So if you ever have to fault find something on the system, the Egan DC hub will be the point to go to. And if a fuse blows, a little LED, a red LED comes on, so you know exactly where to go to. That's pretty much stupid proof. We're trying as <laughs> hard as we can. <laughs> uh, your whole tent light circuit is connected through the DC hub oh, as did well. Did you run that back through that, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah so that is not connected to the main battery anymore. That is now all connected to your lithium battery bank as well. Oh, beautiful. So you got your solar panels there. And then, yeah, like you said, surfboards, whatever you got. Yeah, that's that way good. and you still got a little bit of storage on the back there as well a lot yeah. of people use that for other little bits and pieces because you can get to that quite easily from the back of the car yeah so it's so good that i can have my board there and then i can still use this panel that's it that's incredible cool so this is all we did where we interacted with the car it's just this one cable going to the back there's a fuse underneath here, so just in case it ever stops charging for whatever reason, you can have a look there. There's one fuse here and all the rest is all in the DC hub there. So it's not spread out all through the car. Yeah, okay. It's just that one spot and the DC hub. And that's, that's all the chaos there is to the installation. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, we've also, just looking at the aerial, we put a self go system in for you. So the way it works is a signal repeater. You've got a switch in the dash, all runs off the lithium batteries as well. If you press that switch, uh, you basically turn it into a mobile Telstra tower. So this will still receive a very, very weak uh, mobile phone signal, run it through an amplifier, and you got another little aerial on the inside, and that will send out the amplified signal. So if you only got just one bar on your phone, yeah. you turn that amplifier on, you get full five bar reception again. Ooh, and be a game changer. Yeah, I think for you that will be really, <laughs> it will be very keep good. on posting. <laughs> yeah, we can keep uploading in the bush. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, all the lights that you got in here now, that's all from the lithium batteries as well. 
It's so spacious in here. Once you put that up. Mate, it's incredible, hey? It is, hey? When you're in the bush and you pop it, it's the best. It's so, it's so easy. I know. It'll definitely be my camper setup if I ever go camping with only two people again. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, very good. Mate, thanks for coming in. It was a pleasure doing mate, this with you. Mate, thank you for doing it. It's incredibly bloody neat work. No problem at all, mate. It's been a pleasure. Alrighty, Matt. All that's missing now because you got all the works done. You know, officially. Oh, I've been patched. Ready to drive anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Beautiful, mate.